I love horses. I think they are such beautiful creatures. And today on Creature Corner, we're going to be talking to Amanda, who rescues these amazing animals. This is going to be a brilliant interview. And don't forget Pet of the Week at the end of the program, which she's going to help us with. This is the best Creature Corner ever. Amanda, welcome to the program. Thanks for joining us. No problem, thanks. Now, who is this gorgeous creature here? His name's Ozzy. He's a thoroughbred. Uh -huh. He's 16 hands high. He's actually only been here for about three days now. Oh, right. So he's fairly new. We're going to want to adopt him eventually. Okay. But first, we need to get to know more about his temperament. Right. And also his rideability. Now, you are part of the DCH. What is all that about? Well, there's DCH Animal Adoptions. Mm -hmm. DCH standing for dogs, cats, and horses. And we are the horse section. We run it out here in Western Sydney and we've been here since 2005. And you rescue horses? We do. We get them from several sources. A lot of them are ex-race horses. The other large percentage just comes from private people who, for one reason or another, just aren't able to keep their horse. We believe in natural horsemanship, which is just a really natural way, not using force, using gentle natural techniques with them, doing things at their own pace so that they understand what's needed of them. It's really effective. How did you come to be in love with horses? I just always loved them. Yeah. I didn't have one when I was young. I made it a goal that when I was older, I would definitely have one. So got the car, got the land, got the horse. Good order in order to have it then. <laughs> well, you need that. You need transport and somewhere to keep them. What is the upkeep of a horse like? I mean, if we oh, to 365 days a year. At a bare minimum, you'll need to visit a horse once every 24 hours. You'll need to look them over for injuries, feed them. Grass isn't usually enough, so even if it's just a supplement that they're getting, usually just body work, brush them over, make sure they're fine, do their feet. Water needs to be replaced. Yeah. The basics are enough to fill it one or two hours, and that's before you've started to ride yet. So the commitment is huge. It's a big job, but it's so worthwhile. What do you like about having horses as pets? Well, riding's a big part of it. That's just that sense of freedom. But what keeps you going? Oh, they're just lovely. They're just beautiful. It's inexplicable. And now how do we get in touch with you? www.dchanimaladoptions.com There's a horse tab. You'd click on and click through yeah. to see what we have available. We actually have 12 horses in care at the moment. How that works is we have a network of foster carers throughout Western Sydney. They'll take on the horse bring it to their place, care for it as if it were their own, until a suitable home can be found for it. You've got a pet of the week to show us, another I one? I do, yes. Okay, yes. well let's get started, let's go see who that is. I just can't leave this one alone now. <laughs> okay Amanda, who's this wonderful creature? This is Cosmic. He's a 14 3 hand high standard bred. Mm -hmm. He's 13 years old and he's looking for a home currently. So unfortunately he's unrideable due to a, a past injury to his back. It's fine now, we've had the car and out and the vet. He just won't be able to be ridden, so. What happened? We don't know exactly. He was surrendered to us after he'd finished racing. We have been trying to rehome him since then. He would suit pretty much anyone though, wouldn't he? As a companion horse, a companion, he, he yeah. would, yep. Yeah. If someone's got a horse and they are looking for another one to keep it company, to keep the grass down, mm. perfect for that. He's got a good temperament and mm. he gets along well with people and with other horses in groups. So he just needs an easy retirement lifestyle, just hanging out. They're pretty relaxing and calming after a long day at work. Yeah. You can just come home and just chill out and be in your own, own mind space and take care of them and they just give you a lot of love back. Oh, this one is really beautiful. I hope he finds a home. Thank you so Thank much you. for talking to us. No problem. Really appreciate it. Thank okay, you. guys, that's us for this week. We'll see you again next time and give our very friends a hug. They do need you. Ciao for now.